Police have arrested a woman accused of assaulting Congressman Matt Gates. This happened in Walton County over the weekend. The congressman and his wife were at a local food festival when police say this woman, Selena Chambers, threw a drink at him and cursed at him. Chambers told deputies that she tripped and spilled the drink. Oh, I've been fallen! No one was physically hurt. Chambers faces a felony charge of battery on an elected official. This past Saturday, my wife Ginger and I attended the South Walton Beaches Wine and Food Festival at Grand Boulevard in Sandestin in Walton County, Florida. And we were enjoying catching up with new friends and old and folks recognized me. And so we were taking pictures and having polite conversations. And as I was chatting with one gentleman, a lady threw a drink on the both of us and she was promptly arrested. I want to thank the great folks at the Walton County Sheriff's Office who ensured that this did not escalate and that everyone is kept safe. And I want folks to know why we press charges in circumstances like this. It's quite all right for folks to let their voice heard with an opinion or a comment. Folks can shout and scream all they want. This is America, and people ought to be able to say what they believe, what they desire, even offer criticisms or critiques of people in public life. But if we start allowing stuff to be thrown or hurled, if we allow people to be harmed, there is a severe risk of escalation and accident. And we don't want to see anyone in harm's way, whether it's family members, supporters, or even our detractors. We want them to be safe too, but when they really cross the Rubicon beyond just words to throw in stuff and striking me and striking a gentleman I was speaking with with a drink, well then that really has caused harm to our community and it's something that we want to contain and extinguish and not see going forward. So as I understand it, uh, the person who was arrested is Selena Chambers. She was charged with two counts of battery and of course she is a left-wing author. Her stuff is not exactly my type. It seems after the 2016 election, based on some of her writing, she became very obsessed with Donald Trump and she began engaged in something called a resistance expression. And I'm quoting directly from one of her works here, quote, resistance is expression that can take a physical form. She's also a donor to the Joe Biden presidential campaign. As she talked about her emotional turmoil following the 2016 election and just going through uh, some of the stuff she's written, it is, it is really bizarre. She writes about feminist surrealism and I had to review what, what that entailed and she says that women need a surrealist survivor kit and it needs to include psychoanalysis, uh, mythology, um, uh, memoirs, uh, Satanism, there's connections to uh, Wiccan life in some of this. So very strange, but you know what, whenever there's a conservative who acts out of line, it's like the biggest story in the world. But when you get a radicalized leftist breaking the peace in my community who traveled here, by the way, from Tallahassee, Florida, uh, I doubt it'll get the same pickup, but we'll make sure that there uh, are appropriate consequences through the legal system because that's what the safety of our community demands.